Hey Rose, it's Friday, August 29th, and I love science because science solves mysteries, the mysteries of the universe. And if you're a curious person like me, then having unanswered questions answered is an extremely gratifying and satisfying thing. Well, science has done it again and solved a mystery that has been racking my brain for most of my life and the brains of scientists for over 100 years. That is the mystery of Death Valley Sailing Stones. If you've never heard of the Sailing Stones, they are a mysterious phenomenon in which rocks in Death Valley leave tracks making them appear to have moved or sailed across the flat ground completely on their own. Sometimes it's just a lone rock and sometimes whole groups of rocks move together in identical paths. Sometimes there are large boulders that move and sometimes rocks move and then just radically change direction. Like wh what? What? Aliens. For over 100 years people have speculated everything from strong winds and tornadoes pushing the rocks to aliens moving them to even it being one of the longest running and most elaborate hoaxes of all time. However, just the other day scientists revealed what is actually happening. Oh, it's exciting. Two years ago, they fitted the valley with 15 rocks that had been implanted with GPS devices to capture their movement. They also placed time-lapse cameras around the valley to catch the action. They predicted it could take up to 10 years to catch the phenomenon, but just two years into the experiment, they have their answer. And it is even more fascinating than I could have ever imagined. Okay, check it out. Under extremely perfect circumstances, on certain nights, when the temperature drops low enough, and if there's been adequate local rain, the entire flat valley can fill with water, but only about five to seven centimeters deep, or about two or three inches, creating a shallow puddle the size of a large lake. Then if the temperature drops low enough, this giant puddle can freeze, trapping the rocks within it. The thickness of this ice plays a huge role, as it is thick enough to have enough strength to hold the rocks, but thin enough to expose the rocks that are trapped within. When the temperature starts to rise, the ice melts from the bottom, so now this giant frozen puddle lake becomes a giant ice sheet floating on top of a super thin film of water. Then wind and tension cause this frozen layer to break up into several different giant ice sheets that can then bump into and move against each other. Because the rocks are trapped in these ice sheets, when the sheets move, the rocks get dragged along for the ride, creating grooves in the wet soil below them. This explains why some of the rocks have identical sailing paths, even when the the rocks were hundreds of meters away from each other because they were part of the same giant ice sheet moving along together. It makes so much sense! Oh, it's beautiful! Then, when the sun rises over the mountains, the ice immediately melts and the water evaporates in the scorching hot temperatures, returning the valley to a scorched, dry dirt bed, leaving behind just the rocks and their once mysterious pathways. This is a prime example of why I love learning so much. I have known about these mysterious sailing rocks for as long as I can remember, and now the answer seems so simple. It's like one of my favorite feelings, just thinking like, Duh, why didn't I think of that? And every time one of these questions gets answered and we can know a little bit more about our world and universe, the greater our collective human knowledge becomes. Rose, I am so happy that you are like me and that we get such enjoyment out of learning and being curious. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life learning about the universe with you, and we will see you on Monday.